games, games I do adore. All right, Jeremy Duff from Rogue Gaming and GamingNexus.com is in the house. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good to have you. Yes. Now, uh, today we're talking uh, what? what? What do you have for us? It's a big week, and probably I'd say the marquee title is Destiny the Taken Yes. Game. Now, what is this about? So, Destiny is a basically massive multiplayer shooting game. It's been out for about a year now. And this is the latest content update. It's big expansion pack brings a end to the first year of the game, and it's just a massive update that overhauls pretty much everything about the game. That's cool, man. So, so if the people are really into it, they're going to get like a, some new treats, some new uh, uh, levels new or something? Wep- new weapons, missions, oh, um, a whole new campaign area to play. And like I said, they kind of overhauled it and fixed a lot of the things people were complaining about. Kind of the hope is to draw people who've slipped away from it back in. And personally, I haven't played it in about six months, and I have played it nonstop for the past week since oh, I got the awesome. new stuff. So. so the Blue Jackets are almost back in season, and EA... Sports NHL 16 is going to drop for PS4 and Xbox One. Yep. How's that look? It looks fantastic. We've been playing the early version of it, and everybody who's been playing it on the site has says it's a big improvement over last. Now, year. do they give you the players like access to all the guys like oh, yeah. in the you, league? Yeah, you get everything. It's the full NHL roster, all the players and everything. But the big thing this year is the ability to create custom characters and then take them online, and you're playing teams of strictly custom people. Like, can you get old players? You, they have a like a fantasy mode in there um, <clears throat> called NHL Legends, which yeah. is more like a simulation. I like to get thing. like you know Eric Lindros, I like to get yeah. John Van Beesbrook, I'm, you know, in goal. I'm sure you can because you can do the same thing with MLB. You can do the same thing with Madden. Yeah, that's you know, big. Like get Ricky Henderson. You get Rick, yes, you can. Oh man, yeah. I like to get Ricky Henderson. Okay, now Pete Rose is banned, so he may not be on there. I don't know. I like to get Ricky Henderson on right wing on my hockey team, right? Because he's known for steals, so you know, so he get you know he's going to get in there, and you know he's going to be fast. I got to teach him how to skate first, but you know it'll be fast. So you think we should cross over? Though? Maybe, maybe. But yeah, you can play Madden with Marino. <laughs> yeah? yeah, is that true? Yeah. Man, I'm missing out, dude. I don't even know what's <laughs> going on in this world. I have no idea. So what's up with this uh, Super Mario Brothers? It turned uh, thirty over the past weekend, yes, right? Are they going to do anything for this, Randy? You got to be excited I about that. I Love Mario. Well, the big their big release last week for the thirtieth anniversary is called Mario Maker, and it's basically you make your own Mario levels and share them with people. Okay, we kind of talked about that last week. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a, I picked it up when it launched on Friday. Only on Wii U. Yep, only on Wii U, and my kid has not stopped. We have not. Really? It's been just a constant competition between us. <laughs> is you know, one make a level and say, "All right, beat this." That's cool. So we have gone back and forth of that all When's weekend. When's the next uh, Nintendo console coming out? <laughs> well, they're expected to show their new one off. At oh, really? They're really going to do one, huh? Oh yeah, they've. I thought they were announced. out of the game. I I'm thought waiting. they were just doing games. I don't want the the one that's out right now. I want to wait. What is the one that's because out right now? Because you have to buy the console, the then you have to buy the handhelds. It's like really expensive. Oh, the Wii U. No, the, the okay, hand, okay. The tablet comes with it. We, we have more than one kid, though. <laughs> yeah, but it, the, the system only supports one of them anyway. So only one kid can play at a time? No, the other uh, players use the traditional Wii U remotes. The, ch- the nunchucks? Or yeah, tr- okay. with the nunchucks. All that stuff still works and carries over from the last system, as do all the games. But what's the future for Nintendo? What do, what do you think? Do you think they, Nintendo's going to get back to a uh, like a controller based game? Well, it's kind of people are kind of curious about them because they've announced a new system codenamed the NX, and supposedly there's no like disc slot or anything for it, so it's going to be strictly like online download only. Oh, is kind of what it's looking. But okay. again, this is all you know speculation at this point. And you got to think about it. Why not? Well, that's what everything's it's, moving it's to, you know? towards kids, and kids are so, it's so much, e- I guess downloading stuff is like a cartridge, because you couldn't break well, cartridges back in the day. it is easier, because you don't lose anything, it's always on, you know, I'm sure they're going to develop some sort of cloud system, you know? Well, a lot of them are moving to that, because it, it gets rid of used games, so nobody can sell them, so there's no used market if you're selling digital goods. So they want that to go away, the so, whole used well, game market. I won't say they want it to go away, it's not as bad as people like to think it is for the industry, but, you know, it's definitely, if they could do away with it with ease, I think they would. And, you know, digital lets them do that. There's no trading. There's no lending. But, yeah, there's nothing to lose. But then again, the question has, if you don't have a tangible good in your hand, whenever they cut that system off, you can't play it anymore. Right. It's not like having an old cartridge or system you can pull out. Oh, you would lose all your games. So if they stop supporting it and stop making it, Everything you have is Would gone. Would they dump the cloud at that point, you think? If you had stuff in a cloud? Is you know, a lot of them say they they won't, but... 
But what if you download it to an external hard drive? Then would you have all of the gameplay or no? You could, but, you know, and that's one thing that both them and Microsoft let you do, is you can plug in an external USB hard drive to the Wii U or the Xbox One and save your games to it. All right, well, you're blowing my mind right now. I mean, it's... (laughs) I think that's where everything's headed, is purely digital. Um, I do like you, tangible, though, but I grew up in the 80s and 90s where I went to video game stores and rented a video game for the weekend and could return it, and I, I miss those days. I think it's I over. Miss, I miss being able to take my kid to one of the stores. Mm-hmm. You know? We can go to Game Shop or GameStop. Yeah, what but is that's that? The, you buy, then you buy it. That's, yeah, I guess no it's, yeah. yeah, There's no good arcades, man. Come on. Where's the good arcades? Well, I like Dave and & Buster's and KDB. You That's don't like David fun. Buster's. We went uh, to the parking lot. She wanted to leave well, the other the day. the Hilliard one. That yeah. one's like... Ooh. She looked at the parking lot. Like she the, said, I'm out of here. The Polaris one's where it's at. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jeremy Duff from Rogue Gaming and GamingNexus.com. Hey, man, uh, you got some codes you want to give away? Yeah, I'm actually going to tweet these out. All um, right. So if you follow me on Twitter, at Jeremy Loper, here's what we'll do. He's going to tweet them, and then I'll retweet you, and then that way people can find you easily, okay? Yep. All right, so if you follow me, you follow Randy, you'll be good. Then you can follow Jeremy, and he's going to give you codes right now. So watch on the Twitter feed. Thanks a lot, brother. It's brought to you by Mountain Dew today. It's Rogue Gaming, GamingNexus.com. Check out the website. It's Jeremy Duff, ladies and gentlemen. Games, 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 games I do adore.